Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite things in the micro crawler world and that is 1.0 wheels and tires. So I've got what I guess to most people and myself as well is kind of an obscure uh, lesser known brand. So I thought I would pick up some of their options to try out. So I've got their three tires from very big to big to I guess medium small and then I've got two different types of wheels and two colors and they come in these kind of 18 scale cargo boxes which is kind of neat but anyways let's jump into these guys okay got these uh, little cargo boxes out and see I've already popped into a couple of them so looks like this is cargo box hardware maybe only and uh, looks like for the cargo box as well so they give you four these look like uh, aluminum hexes here they're not i don't think they're brass and then you've got the real prize inside so look at these so we'll take a closer look at all the styles and colors in a second i'll get them all out but i just wanted to kind of take a look at that packaging but uh yeah they just You've got any kind of 18 scale crawlers you could use this accessory but anyways moving on all right did find hardware within the uh, baggies for the uh, roof rack hardware so it looks like uh, this black style with the bead lock it comes with some micro micro screws as well for the bead lock ring you can kind of see them there but it looks like those do not come out to mount the wheel so there's like a faux one and then a screw every other but just a super nice matte black finish but like I say it looks like you mount from the rear so that ring doesn't have to come off so those are just spares and then these are uh, brass rings and they are vented as well you can see there so that's vented on all of them so those are super clean, kind of a matte satin finish with the anodized uh, raw edges on that kind of inner spoke and lip, but super clean. So I went ahead and picked up the other color of that style with the red anodized and the uh, kind of, you can see the silver ring, you see that a lot clearer here, those little micro screws, but uh, we'll see what these weigh, they feel nice, we'll see what hexes uh, hex weights fit the, the rear side of these so this is the other style in black and it's again kind of a, a matte or a satin black finish and it's got DJ crawler on the spokes and it looks like just kind of rivet kind of scale rivet pieces in there that are machined and then uh, that machined edge there's the back face of that that's got all the screws in there and then here's the other color of that style. The finish is uh, kind of a bright aluminum on this one, but same style and uh, brass ring as well on this one. So let's get the calipers out and see what the width is on these first. So we are zeroed out. Let's check out this one first. 14.84 for that guy. That's not super narrow. Let's check this guy. Looks a little skinnier. So 12.82. So that's more like a trio or something. Pretty narrow SSD wheel. So let's get the scales out and I'll get all the screws in one of each and we'll see what they weigh. Time to answer the important question of what these guys weigh. So we've got the bead locked version. Not too shabby. 25.5. And then we've got just the more scale version. 22.8. So both of those have some nice heft to them. So that's good to know. You can see I've got out these uh, hex weights. So we can give these guys a test fit as well. So they've got the two kind of types, the uh, heavier type that has the recessed hex 
So these you need a little more clearance around your inner hub, which I don't believe these are going to provide because of those hardware uh, ends sticking up. So yeah, this one will not seat at all as expected. Now these two types are the same, or these three types, they're all flat faced. So these are easier to fit typically with the hardware. So these still feel like they stick up a little past the back face of the hub, but not a lot. So looks like you'll be able to run these flat faced weighted hexes. And then of course any normal hex won't have any interference. So always good to look at the back side of the wheel and kind of understand how it mounts and what the clearances are there. But uh, that's kind of the quick overview of the DJ Crawler rims. So I think it's time to take a look at the tires they offer. Moving on to tires. So here's the three options they offer. The two on the right came quickly from Amazon. The one on the left came on the slow boat. So this took a couple weeks. Um, this is their larger uh, or largest tire, the 62 by 20.5. And that just has a nasty looking tread pattern, very aggressive, but still very scale. Just a really good MT and the rubber compound feels really good. It feels really sticky. Uh, the foam is uh, fairly firm. So we'll pull those foams out in a minute and check those out. This middle one here is a 60 by 22. And this one's gonna look familiar. This is the uh, Neato uh, Mud Grappler knockoff. So Enjora makes one of these as well in a 60 millimeter. And I've actually got that here to compare. We'll look at it in a second, but this is definitely a different mold, different compound, and again, sticky, sticky rubber. Um, and then on the right here is the third, and this is a 50.2 by 22.8. So super wide, look at that guy. Nice sidewall pattern. Man, these feel really good as well. And just, man, these are, these are some of the widest tires I've seen. And especially being that smaller height, it accentuates the width. But those look super nice. So I'm gonna clear some of this out of the way and then we'll take a deeper look here. Okay, so first off, I think we just do the sticky test to see. And that is nice. There's not even a rim in there to keep the tire stiff. So those, those pick up. Looks like that was picking up. Jesus. So th these are definitely sticky. Man, that is very nice. So if they flex and conform as well as they stick and grip, That'll be super nice. So let's see here, I made a mess. Let me get these back in some sort of arrangement. So we'll get these out of the way. And I've got actually some tires here to compare that I'm sure everybody kind of knows. So we've got the stock in the middle. So we can compare that to this tallest one, the 62 millimeter. So this is the 62 by 20.5, quite a bit taller and wider. Um, here it is on that 60. So pretty close. And of course this wide shorty is more suited for like a C10 build, something with fenders you're not going to want to cut. But look at how wide that thing is. That's just awesome. So. This is the BFG KR3 from RC Four Wheel Drive. So these appear probably out to out to be about the same width. And uh, the Power Hobby tires are super wide like this as well. So that's a good comparison there. And then I just got a Trail Warrior out just as another big wide one to compare. So it's one of the wider ones again. But man, the trail warriors are sticky as well. So those, the compounds work together. Look at that. So anyways, these look pretty good auction wise. Um, 
Now I've got actually the Enjora uh, tire that this one is matching and it's definitely a different compound. This one is sticky icky. This one's got a good softness to it. This one's vented with Crawler Innovations foams. But the main difference I saw in these was you can see the mold line down the middle of the tread. This one, you can't see it. It doesn't have a mold line there. It looks like a lot better mold. Um, definitely on that outer face. And you can see what I'm talking about here. This line that goes all the way around. So these are the same style, but I don't think they knocked off the exact mold. These seem like they're potentially wider as well. And these are actually on uh, Super DDPs with island style spacers. And these are just sitting here on the foams and they're, they appear to be the same width just sitting here. So if these were stretched, they'd be even wider. So I don't know, these are the same height, they're both 60 millimeters. Um, of course this one feels it's sitting lower because it's stretched wider. But uh, just wanted to take a look at that as apples to apples. And then I've got another kind of big guy. This is the new 64 millimeter Enjora. And again, this is, this is unvented on a full soft Crawler Innovations foam. It's got a really nice feel, but I just want to put that up against this 62. So height wise, these are sitting about the same because of probably the squish down here on the tire. And it's not as wide as the Enjora 64s, but it's right there. Another big tire player for sure. So I'm going to pull the foams out and we'll take a look at those and kind of the inside of each of these tires. And the foams I never worry about too much because I'm such a fan of putting in the Crawler Innovations foams. So yeah, these are definitely Definitely stiff foams for sure. So let's see what this uh, inside face looks like. <clears throat> so it looks like these have some little ribs here, little stiffener ribs. So that's kind of different. This is more akin to a, like a one-tenth scale tire. I don't think I've seen these little ribs on the, the 1.0s. But even with those ribs, of course, this is no foam. So those ribs might make it really easy to run these without foam and not have so much deflection, especially if you vented the wheel or the tire. But man, I'm telling you, that rubber, that rubber feels really good. Wow. So these, these could be a a newfound shining star, definitely a nice big size. So that's the that's the wrong one. So here's one of the new ones. So look at this foam. I'm guessing it's probably about the same density. Yeah, I'm guessing this feels like they use the same foam and everything. Let's see what this one looks like. And again, same construction. So I'm betting that this one has that as well. So yeah, definitely something unique, but I'm telling you, very interested to see how these perform and uh, hook up, but they definitely feel super, super sticky. So I'm, I've got high hopes for these as long as the, uh, I can get a good foam and a good deflection vented or unvented to work, which uh, these definitely feel a little little firmer with those stiffeners and that may just be the shape of the tread and the the sidewall break over but it feels a little more firm than that one feels like it gives maybe it's just because of the overall size is bigger it makes it softer but anyways that's a good uh, kind of first look at their three tire offerings. I think that's all they have at the moment. And as far as the wheels, I think that's all they had as well for 1.0. I could be wrong, but uh, I guess the last thing I do, let me mount up some of these since we've got wheels and 
course tires available and see what a set looks like. Okay, let's take one final look at these mounted up. And I tell you what, these mounted super easy. So this has the foam in it. So I'd definitely say you either need a pretty heavy rig or a different foam. They're not horrible. I've definitely seen worse. Um, so I went ahead and mounted this one with no foams. And of course the the venting action you can see there. It's not a quick vent because it's just the ring. The wheel doesn't have a hole, but it will fill back up. But you can see that stickiness. So that one is no foam. Then I went ahead and did this one no foam as well. And this feels really good without a foam. So I think either one of these could probably use, you know, either no foam or a, a really trimmed down uh, Crawler Innovations foam potentially. And then I went ahead and did the stock foam in this one. And this is, uh, doesn't feel bad either. I think it's because this foam is a lot thinner, so it, it will flex a little bit easier than those uh, thicker ones on the end. But man, just looking super good here. These are right up there with the, the new style trio as far as that kind of nice scale look to them, if not better. I definitely like the black finish better, just the, the quality of the finish better. You can see kind of a little speckledyness. These still look good, but of course I'm being very picky. And these just look gorgeous. There's a super unique design there. And then I just really like how they're doing the black with the satin instead of a really shiny. But that's that's the the new DJ Crawler tires and wheels. So some new offerings for the 1.0 Micro World, and uh, potentially some new good tires as well. Definitely some new sizes, and this is a whole new pattern and size that no other manufacturer makes as well as this one so this one is unique to dj crawler as well so we'll see if either one of these gets ripped off and copied in the future but for now if you want to pick these up i think amazon is the place to get them and like i say this big bad boy takes longer in shipping these and the wheels you can get prime so take that into consideration but anyways Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something and uh, maybe you'll pick some of these up if you like them.